Thank you. Boa tarde. Good afternoon. So I'm here representing a consortia of partners that have developed a, a project to be funded by the Horizon 2020. And as you may guess, it was funded, or else we wouldn't be here presenting it. Uh, and this project is, uh, aims at the design of a theory-informed ICT tool, ICT's information and communication technology tool for weight loss maintenance. And we focused on two rising trends. The first one is the rise of obesity, and uh, you, you all are aware of it, of it. And also the other trend is the rising use of technology. And we thought that with the almost omnipresence of technology in everyday use, uh, that people uh, use smartphones or tablets or PCs, we could make uh, some experiences that could help people uh, to facilitate some behaviors that will lead to their weight management. And we thought about something completely different uh, and something that is awesome. And I'm guessing that it's not that different because it's the, the, the subject of this seminar because we will use, of course, the uh, ideas that are being set forward in this seminar. So behavior change science and behavior change theories and techniques. And we know that they work within a face-to-face -face intervention. There are some meta-analyses that already show that uh, more broad interventions, or more, more broad psychosocial interventions work in overweight contexts and also uh, some more specific uh, uh, behavior change, what it's called the active ingredients, do work when we are dealing with, with obesity. And these are the last two um, papers that are showing here. But we wanted to uh, test not face-to-face -face interventions, but uh, technology-based interventions. So we are dealing with a very competitive area of research and competitive area also in a commercial, commercial setting because, for example, the iOS App Store has already over 900 health-related apps that deal with behavior change in some way to, um, to, uh, relating to, to health. And they uh, are coming almost every day. Uh, and devices are also coming almost every day. So with this comp competitive session um, context, it's easy to understand that most of the apps focus mostly on fun, on attractiveness, on functions, and less on effectiveness. So because they have to deal with something that uh, Charles Darwin uh, idealized some, some years ago. They deal with a very strict and competitive ecosystem and they have to compete with each other, and the ones that are the most fun, most enjoyable, at the first steps, are the ones that usually are uh, used by people. And this means that a lot of people will st stop using technology as a way to uh, change their behavior because they don't believe that it, it works. They just see it's a fun thing, but it doesn't work. So we are losing, perhaps, a lot of subjects along the way, because we know that natural selection works, but it takes a long time, and maybe we have to use other uh, inventions that uh, man was uh, able to, to, to do, and that invention is the scientific method. So we will start focusing on effectiveness and less on natural selection processes. And this is what we did on the know-how project. So the know-how, it's the name of the project, it's a funded project by the Horizon 2020, and I do have to say this a couple of times or else they will be upset with us. So it's funded by the Horizon 2020, <laughs> and it will test whether information and communication technology based delivery of the most promising evidence-based behavior change techniques is effective for weight loss maintenance. So we will focus on weight loss, loss maintenance, and we have a set of partners uh, there, there are 12 partners from, the Dan from Denmark, from the UK, from uh, Ireland, from Finland, from Portugal, and uh, European uh, Association for the Study of Obesity. So all these partners are uh, striving to, to get the best project as possible. And we designed a project that is uh, supposed to be a proof of concept study. So the proof of concept study will try to see if the 
ICT, so the Information Communication Technology, can provide the platform for a theory-informed intervention in weight loss maintenance. We already know that ICTs can promote behavior change and health behavior change. It, it, uh, it is already uh, available some evidence about that. And this evidence shows that the most effective interventions are the ones that are using more extensively theory and that have more behavior change techniques. So these two ideas, extensive use of theory and more behavior change techniques, uh, were the first roadmap for future interventions. And this was 2010. So after 2010, a lot of uh, interventions were uh, built up with these ideas, uh, and we already have the, the results of those interventions. But as you can see here, the first one by Willen uh, and the other, uh, the other two uh, meta-analyses or uh, systematic reviews are focusing on weight loss, not on weight loss maintenance. So we thought that we sh uh, still have some uh, leverage or some way to, to make a study. The know-how started in March 1, in the first day of March. So we are 24 days old, so we're not that old, at least in, in, this, in this idea. And just a couple of weeks after the project started, we found out a review that is focusing on technology and weight loss maintenance. And this review shows a new roadmap of what should be the state-of-the-art uh, techniques or the state-of-the-art interventions that will work in terms of weight loss maintenance. And they are not that different from the ones that we already knew when we developed the know-how. So the know-how has some innovative characteristics. The first one is that it will focus on weight loss maintenance. It will be or we'll, it will try to provide the research-grade evidence for an ICT intervention. It's not very, uh, uh, it doesn't happen a lot that ICT interventions have a, a, a concern about the research. Uh, we will have a factorial study design uh, that will allow to test for individual contribution of each intervention component we will have dissemination capabilities with the EASO, the European Association for the Study of Obesity, and Slimming World. And we are also linked to the private sector, uh, both on the technology side with VTT and Activity, and with the commercial side with Slimming World. So we start designing the know-how. That's where, we are, uh, where we, we are at right now. And the intervention is built upon what we call the toolkit, as uh, Pedro just told. And this toolkit is a set of experiences that are made available to the user, and the user can experience with more depth that experience, or he can choose not to use the experience. And in this process of uh, going into an experience, it will provide some feedback to us that will allow for tailoring and individualized uh, interventions. You can see here uh, a graphic of what we are trying to, to do. So people can choose each one of those cards. Those are the experiences. The experiences are linked to some key components that I will show up in a minute. And that's those, uh, the way that they experience the activity will help us to provide a more tailored experience or a more tailored intervention to the people. And we have three sets of uh, key mediators, so three key components. The first one is related to self-regulation, the second one is uh, more linked to motivation, and the third one to stress and emotional regulation. And we already have a net, uh, a net start for each one of these components. So for example, one of our partners, the University of Newcastle, is developing uh, uh, an intervention that is based on self-regulation for weight management. So we will uh, use this uh, at start, this knowledge, to provide for uh, the toolkit. For the motivation um, component, we will use the experience that we have here in the University of Lisbon. And I was, I was looking at my first uh, folder from PESO, 2001. So it, it's 15 years ago almost that we started this, this project. So we will build on, upon this experience and also on 
the ideas from the BCT taxonomy. Finally, we are also have a net start for the stress and emotion regulation. Uh, we, have, uh, we are linked with VTT that develop an app, uh, it's called OIVA, that will be, uh, let's say, it will, be, it will, it will get better with the help of the University of Coimbra so that it can be used in our toolkits. And all these three key components will have what we're calling for now modules. And these are the modules for the self-determination or motivation uh, component. So each one of these models uh, have experiences that are linked to a theory-informed uh, uh, idea or a behavior change technique that we think that will facilitate behavior. For example, this first one is related to autonomy and relatedness support. The mode of delivery will be a web based app, similar to what Robert West just showed you. So it will be available on a smartphone or on a tablet or on a PC. And it will be tailored so we will be getting uh, feedback from the, from the users so that we can promote better engagement. So now that we have an intervention, a toolkit, we have to test it. Let's see if it, this works or not. So we design a trial. In the trial, as a factorial study design, as, uh, as it was said before, with four arms. So this will allow for the uh, individual testing of each component. It has a lot of outcomes. The primary outcomes will be body weight, of course. Uh, but you also have some secondary outcomes that are listed round he uh, down here. It will be a large uh, trial with three study centers one in the UK, another one in Denmark, and another one in Portugal, each one with over 500 people. Uh, and each uh, center will test the four arms. So it's a large, uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, power in our study. And this landscape shows what could be the journey of one participant while he is uh, participating in the know-how. When the trial starts, uh, we will suggest a path but this path is not the only one that is available. People can choose to go through uh, other paths. We will not have uh, uh, direct personal contact. So people will only interact with the toolkit itself. We have two stages or two phases. The first one that we will try to define what we're calling a weight loss maintenance profile. And while we're doing that, we are also doing uh, something that we are calling the weight loss maintenance personal project. People can choose uh, how they uh, go in that journey. They can travel by car or by foot. Let's see. Uh, let's uh, give it that example. They will have a broad landscape of experience to try out. So they can go to the mountains or they can stay here in the plain. They can decide not to go for a certain path. I don't like heights, so I won't go that way or they can decide to experience something that was not predicted. And this journey will take around six months. And after that, uh, what we're calling the intervention period, we will still, uh, uh, the intervention will still, still be available for an extra 12 months. So people can revisit the experiences and maybe find out something new that was not uh, present at the first time. So we do have some challenges, and to, to finalize, so first, there are plenty of challenges, of course, 24 days old only. The first one is, is ICT ready to implement the current behavior change techniques and theories that were developed mostly uh, for face-to-face um, -face interventions? Or we can see it uh, in another way. Can uh, BCTs and theory evolve in order to uh, use or to seize what technology can offer. This is uh, something that also is also a challenge when we are dealing with technology. Technology is evolving a lot. See the, smart, the, the smartphones of 2010, they are old. So we don't really know what's going to happen in 2020. So this is a challenge. And we know that we are providing for minimal contact because this is a proof of concept study. We will provide high level of autonomy. There's a high risk of dropout, 
we have to uh, establish some fidelity assessments and we are going to use big data and I think that Jutta will talk about how can we uh, analyze this data. So finally, some general principles. This is a user-based intervention. We will do regular self-monitoring. We will try that people learn from their lapses to prevent their relapses. They will happen for sure. We know that people, when they start using this uh, type of technology, they will use it a lot in the beginning, so we will try to capitalize on that. We will offer plenty of choice along the way, and the toolkit is a facilitator of behavior. This is the main idea, so facilitator, not a driver for behavior. And this is the know-how as, as it is with 24 days old. <laughs>